is cooking this sugar syrup to just the right temperature. Notice his arms, he has no burns. <laughs> You are here for how many years? 28 ans. 28 ans. So he's been here 28 years. It's probably still the same. One of the reasons Fouquet is so special to me is because they still make candies the old-fashioned way. Each one is hand-dipped. They use this vintage equipment, it's a special copper pot just for making candies. But the way it's balanced, it's perfect for dipping. And you can't find these things anymore, they just don't exist. These are the candied almonds that he's been dipping. And each one, you can see it's all firmed up nicely. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful candy. How long have you been here? So Fouquet have been here since uh, 1852. 1852? Yeah, wow. more, more than one century. And uh, I work with my sister and we're the fifth generation to run the company. Okay, so were they feeding the people candy during the French Revolution? Yeah, <laughs> they, just, were, just, they, just, they were jacked up on sugar. <laughs> How do you say this in French, the candy? Acidulé. Acidulé. Hard okay. candy. Something which is acidulé is bitter. Yeah, acid. It's bit, yeah. bit acid. Yeah, French yeah. is a very interesting language because yeah. sometimes the things you think in English, yeah. like deception, is a different word. Deception. Yeah, in French it's sort of disappointment. Uh, yeah. Whereas in America, deception is, you know, I say, oh, I'm just here to shoot a, a video, but I'm actually here to eat all the candy. So deception is... Uh, okay. You make all these sweets, candies, the pet de fruit, the chocolates, yeah. but you also have things like pepper, Some mustard. Grocery. Traditionally, we've been used to work with a lot of grocery products. I would say 20, 20 years ago, we had probably four to five times what we have now. That's a homemade punch. Homemade? Homemade. In the basement? In the basement. Okay. You'll see that. Is that legal in France? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Be careful. This is the basement where all the things marinate, I guess yeah, you would say. A, uh, they get old. They get old. <laughs> <laughs> Including the owner of the shop and me. <laughs> For instance, the punch, we forget it for uh, six months at least. Okay. To get marinated with some spices, cinnamon, lemon, etc. They have these beautiful molds. This is a big clog or a sabot, or, as you'd say in French. And they have these smaller ones as well. They have a whole collection of these vintage ones here in the shop. They're dipping the almonds in chocolate, they're putting them in this machine which is called an enrober. What he's doing here is putting them on the belt as fast as he can. Super vite, c'est comme un jeu. It's like a game to try to get them in as fast, but they're all lined up so when they come out, they can just cut them and put them on the trays. What a lot of people don't understand is people try to make chocolates like this at home and the chocolate gets very thick. And the professional machines, they have a fan here and what happens is after the chocolates come out of the enrober, out of the waterfall of chocolate, this fan here blows the excess chocolate off. So these are just um, toasted almonds dipped in chocolate. Very simple. Mm. But you know what's so good about them is the almonds are really yeah. good. And they're toasted. Everything depends on the almond and of course the quality of the blend. The chocolate blend. Yeah. And the people that make them. And the people that make them. Our general philosophy is to be subtle, not to be too strong in terms of taste. And I know that some people like when it's over-flavored, yeah, over always. Even if it's not, it becomes artificial, some kind of artificial tasting. A friend of mine who writes about French food a lot, he said to me once, he goes, Americans are looking for fireworks wow. when they eat something. They want to be go, wow, whereas French people are very happy to have something that's just sort of simply delicious. Yeah. They're not looking for the background or anything, they just want to eat something good. And that's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs>